The father says today no word of prophecy is of private interpretation. My word is personal to you but it is not private. When you hear a word given to another and it causes your heart to leap as the babe in Elizabeth's belly take it for yourself. Guest it that word and nurture that word. I will cause it to be in your life even it was intended in blessing its original recipient that is not the way things have been taught but know this i am not a mighty wizard lurking behind a wall of levers and buttons i am the almighty one who gave heaven's best to redeem you and bring you out of many waters My highest and best is yours by the bequest of this shed blood of Calvary. Comment yes if you believe in God and do help support us through super chat or watching this video completely. I am not looking for reason to deny you. My eye is not open to search the earth for some disqualifying factors by which I will not answer. I am a prayer answering God and my first and default response to you is yes. Let yes be your first and default response to me. Let your yes and my yes rejoice together. Let full surrender to my spirit and my will be the posture with which you meet every day. Approach every challenge with abandonment and complete trust knowing that i am with you and i will never leave you or forsake you i am going before you to drive out the enemy even before he can threaten you in any way there are so many perils and pitfalls you never even knew i protected you from beloved i watch over every footfall of your path lest you dash your foot against a stone i am with you and i will be with you every step of the way as we walk the path together into the fulfillment of all that i have promised now about a prayer given to us by archangel michael the importance of this prayer cannot be overstated for its utterance carries with it the gravity of life and death salvation and damnation it is a prayer of desperation and hope a prayer that when whispered or heard in the solitude of the night can evoke tears of anguish and tears of redemption in the face of insurmountable odds it is a prayer that dares to challenge fate to defy the inexorable march of time and to call upon the very forces of the universe to bend to its will in the trembling words of this prayer you will find the power to transcend your limitations and reach for the divine intervention so now listen to this prayer silently and if you can whisper it alongside then do this also O oh Lord as I lift my voice to you in prayer I am awestruck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation from the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings your handiwork is evident everywhere I look I stand in awe of your power and wisdom and I am humbled by the privilege of being in your presence heavenly father I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, to place a hedge of protection around us and to grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds and spirits against the schemes of the enemy and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. 
As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the midst of life's storms, help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments, I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch. Whether the ailment is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief, and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened, and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, 
open their hearts to your truth and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me.